Welcome to the Lara Jane Layton Show. This podcast is for you, the person who keeps putting others first. Your self-talk has held you back. You no longer need to take a second seat. Let's explore ways to overcome self-doubt. You can silence that inner bully voice and achieve your full potential. Here's your host, Lara Jane. Hey, it's Lara Jane with another episode of What's in My Brain. I guess that kind of rhymes, Jane's brain. Let's call it that for now on. I don't know. Anyway, today I was thinking about my granddaughter and all the amazing things that she's taught me. And, you know, they have that, I think I've mentioned this before, the Bible um, story about the babe will lead them. Well, you know, the more I hear how authentic she can be, the more I believe that, yeah, that's very possible that the children are going to lead us because they've learned to be them and they haven't yet, we haven't yet taken that out of them. We try and domesticate our kids so that they act as we want them to. So, you know, it's, it takes time and she was still really young. So I had been taking her to different places, movies, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, parks, just to keep her entertained because she was a go, go, go girl. And I had this new Disney movie came out and I'm like, oh, she's going to definitely want to see this because she likes Disney. So it's like, hey, bug, how about if we go to see this new movie? And her response was absolutely authentic and genuine and something we can all learn from. Grandma, that's really not my interest. How could you feel bad about somebody giving you that kind of answer? You know, if you tell somebody, if like I invite my best friend to go to the movie with me and they say, no, thank you. I wonder, do they not want to spend time with me? Do they not want to hang out? Uh, They got bigger priorities than me. But that small kind, authentic, it's not my interest. She didn't say, I don't want to spend time with you. She just knew that she didn't want to go to that movie. So the lesson or what I'm trying to get across to you today is you can be authentic and kind and still be honest. You know, some people say, well, I was just being honest. Well, how did you deliver it? Did you deliver it in a way that the person's going to still like hanging out with you? Or do they think that you're always going to be attacking them? So let's work on talking to ourselves with an unauthentic voice, not one that's going to beat you down, not one that's going to make you feel like there's something you still need to do. But accepting, I love you just the way you are voice. And as we master that in our own heads, we can use it for the rest of the world too. But the most important person in this world is you. And you need to be kind to yourself. So next time someone asks you to go somewhere, you're just not interested. Just tell them it's not your interest. And then you both go away knowing that there's other things you will do together. Lara Jane. Are you tired of waking up exhausted? You are not alone. If you're looking to take your life back, let's start with the simple step of adjusting your self-talk. Stay tuned for the next episode with your host, Lara Jane. Remember to follow the show so you don't miss a next simple step that you can use to feel more confident. And please leave an honest review.